We are here today to celebrate strawberries at the Monterey Bay Academy to announce a really important joint effort. The California Department of Pesticide Regulation and the California Strawberry Commission will be working together for three years on a half a million dollar research project to look at alternatives to fumigants. At this location, the Strawberry Commission has been doing research since 1992, exploring fumigation alternatives. My name is Mark Marai. I'm the uh, president of the California Strawberry Commission, also a third generation strawberry grower. We're very energized today to start this larger collaborative effort with the Department of Pesticide Regulation to really expand the project into growers' fields. I'm a proud strawberry farmer. As growers, we need a variety of tools to deal with disease and pests. I'm excited to be a part of this testing of this new system in our field. This research we're partnering on is really working on using substrates, uh, soilless media to grow strawberries in. A lot of the work we're doing here is finding ways to combine feet with other things to reduce the cost of it or use something called coconut core, which is the inner husk of coconut. It's fibrous. Uh, you can grow in that for multiple years. It has properties similar to soil, but it doesn't have diseases in it. These are enormous challenges. You don't see the hidden world in the soil. There are microbes in there attacking the roots of all these plants. This is daily struggle for these plants to survive. It's got to have enough water. It's got to have enough nutrients. It's got to have the right balance of, of good, good uh, microbes and bad microbes. And when the bad microbes take over, it's uh, devastating. We were able to figure out how to match the grower's standard with at least a few of these substrate treatments last year. We're now focusing on reducing the economic costs. We need to find a way to adapt these systems and get feedback from the growers directly. The 500 or so strawberry family farms throughout California, we're all part of one big agricultural community. We have to keep everybody strong in that community. That's why we're investing in this work with DPR, and that's why we're so excited about it. 